What's going on you guys? So if you didn't already know, PlayStation has just dropped their first PS5 update. So first major update. I did a video yesterday talking about all the things that were included in this massive update. If you wanna go ahead and check that out, make sure to check out the video at the top of the screen right now. In this video right here, we're going to be talking about my favorite part of the entire new update, storage of PS5 games on external SSD or HDD. So if you wanna know what kind of SSDs or HDDs you're going to need for this kind of you know storage for ps5 storage or ps5 games make sure to look down in the description there's going to be a link that you can follow to check out all the high speed you know usb drives that you can use because you need a high speed usb drive to store ps5 games as well as you know at least 250 gigabytes of storage on that medium you know whatever it's going to be all right let's go ahead and check out storage let's see how this works we're still all waiting for that one update you know that one major update the one that gives us you know access to m2 slot within the PS5 so internal storage on the PS5 that's the one I'm waiting for at least I don't know about you guys but I'm waiting for that update this one doesn't allow you to play games off of you know the external drive you cannot play PS5 games off of it you have to copy it right back which is still better than having to download it again because it's way faster you're downloading from a high-speed USB drive or a SSD so it's fast it copies it back and forth that's it so I'll show you guys how this works right quickly here so you guys can go ahead and start to store your PS5 games on external storage instead of having to download it every time okay so here we are at the PlayStation 5's home screen so first thing we're gonna try to do here is copy directly from the home screen so they They've added this new setting where you can just transfer games directly from the home screen like from here like you can just move any game this is a ps4 game as you can see here's a new thing NBA 2k21 is a ps5 game and before you couldn't move this game between the internal storage on the ps5 and you know an external storage now you can do that by clicking on the options button and you'll see an option to move to a USB extended storage so right there as you can see so I'm gonna try and go ahead and move something so you guys can see what I'm talking about spider-man miles morales is a game that's it's obviously PS5 everyone knows what that is so I'm gonna go ahead and move that directly to external storage so external USB if you're wondering what kind of drive I've got connected to my PS5 right now it's just a two terabyte WD HDD drives so it's a USB 3.0 high-speed drive so you're gonna need a USB 3.0 high-speed drive or a USB C you know drive for example I have an SSD drive but right now I've got my USB 3.0 drive connected to it all right let's go ahead and move spider-man miles morales onto the drive so as you can see there's the move to USB extended storage right there you click on that and there's now new options so you can also access this menu by going through the settings menu I'll show you guys that in a second but let's go ahead and look through this first so as you can see there's now three menu options there's delete content move ps4 content and now move ps5 games before there wasn't move ps5 games it was just something with ps4 content but now we can move ps5 games so I'm gonna go ahead and move Spider-Man Miles Morales. Okay, let's go ahead and see what that is about. Okay, so also you got to make sure that you understand that it's going to be quicker if you use SSD drives over HDD drives. I've got an HDD drive, so it's going to be a little slower in transferring in comparison to say an SSD drive. So take that into consideration when deciding what to store your PS5 games on. Okay, so the console's not copying Spider-Man Miles Morales onto my hard disk drive. As you can see, it's gone off of, you know, what games I can move. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on the main screen now. As you can see, it says copy now so it doesn't say play you can't play off of the hard drive you can only copy it first and then play it so that's the difference between playing a ps4 game and a ps5 game off of a hard drive you can play ps4 but you can't play ps5 games okay so let's go ahead and copy it back but before that i'm gonna show you guys the other way to you know access that menu so you go up to your settings right there open that up go down to storage and then you go into USB extended storage and then games and apps. So the same way you would access it before when copying PS4 games onto your hard drive. And then you'll notice right there, there's delete content, move PS4 games and move PS5 games. And these are the games that are on the drive, not on your PS5. These are on the drive. So this game right here, this is the only PS5 game I have on my drive. And you see, I've got quite a bit of PS4 games on my hard drive as well. So the same hard drive can hold PS4 and PS5 games. If you're wondering, the PS4 games can be played off the hard drive, but the PS5 games cannot. So you have to copy them back before you play, but it's definitely better than having to re-download it every time from, you know, the online methods or whatever it is. So you can just go ahead and just copy it right there. If you have an SSD, it's even better 
because it'll move quicker. So you can use SSD drive if you want more speed. So a copy right there, and it doesn't take time. You'll notice it'll start to you know count up. First of all, it's gonna queue itself for copying, and then it'll, it'll, it'll start, and it'll start to copy. That's how it works. So basically, that's the bulk of what they've done so far as regards storage. It's still some work to be done, but honestly, I'm still happy that at least I can save the games that I purchased, you know, and just put them on a drive, on an external drive, and then just copy them back whenever I'm ready to play. So don't worry about it. At least this is some sign of improvement. They're going to make more improvements on the console down the line. So let's just keep waiting and being hopeful. If you're in the market for SSD and HDD drives for your PS5, you can go down in the description below. I will have some links for you guys to check out, you know, different sizes. Just go for what you're looking for. If you're looking for speed, make sure you're going SSD. If you're looking for, you know, something that's more budget friendly, go for HDD, even, you know, larger in size, because you can get good priced HDDs, high speed. Make sure it's high speed 3.0. If you're not getting, you know, via the links that I'm gonna provide down below, make sure you get high speed. Uh, USB 3.0 drives, but that's all I got for you guys in this one. I hope you guys found this video useful or at least interesting to watch. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new to my channel. If you want to see some more videos like this one, make sure to check out the video on the screen right now, and I will catch you guys in my next video. It's your boy Midas, and I'm out of here, y'all.